Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss about the slide pane. Yes, we are going to create a slide pane here in the JavaFX application. And I will describe how you can do it. Guys, we have to use jphoenix.jar to do this. Right now, you can see the running demo of the slide pane. You can see this is very useful component and looking very awesome so we can implement this thing in our application as well so guys are you ready let's get started so guys first of all you have to visit the jphoenix github location so this link is given in the description guys just uh, go here and uh, you can see the download link for the java 8 and the download link for the java 9 if you are using so choose the appropriate version download it and uh, add in your NetBeans ID project. So guys, here the demonstration purpose, I have created the FXML based project in the NetBeans IDE. And now I am going to add the JPhoenix jar that I have downloaded right here. So this is the way you can Add the jphoenix so the jphoenix jar is added here in the class path okay now first I will show you the fxml so what are the arrangement we have to do to create the slide pane so first I am going to open this fxml in the scene builder okay guys if you have not downloaded the scene builder so just visit the oracle website and you will get the scene builder there so this is the fxml that uh, we are using in this example so you can see we have a one base pan and uh, from this library section you can look for jfx hamburger icon you can see this is the jfx hamburger icon that i have placed right here on this top corner and the second thing we are using this is jfx drawer okay so this is the ready-made control that will give you the facility to add a slide pen in your application so this is the jfx drawer so i have just draw drag and dropped here you can see so i placed this way on the scene builder in the corner just hold on okay so i'm adjusting the position okay so the position is adjusted and now save it okay guys and uh, one more thing we will do here we have to assign the fx id okay so this is the fx id for the hamburger icon and we have to assign the fx id to jfx drawer as well so i have given this drawer as a fx id okay so this is the simple arrangement in the main fxml okay now guys uh, one more thing so drawer is like a container and uh, it needs to display some uh, content so content means you have to give an fxml node here okay so you have to load something some design from the fxml and you have to display in this jfx drawer container so to do this we have created one more fxml let me show you so this is the slide pen fxml that i have created so i will open the same here in the scene builder as well okay guys you can see uh this is a simple v box this is the node that we will set inside the jfx drawer okay so for the demonstration i simply added two buttons here in a v box button one and button two 
and you can adjust uh, the position of uh, these from the layout section okay you can set the position like because most of the time we use the slide pan uh, for the navigation or menu items so you can put the links or button here in this v box and uh, just save it and here in the v box no fx id is assigned okay we have just simply saved this fxml as a slide pan dot fxml okay in the same location here in the project you can see okay now we will see the implementation code inside the fxml controller okay so right here we are inside the netbeans and this is the fxml controller this is very straightforward code and uh, this is the annotation to get the object of a hamburger so fx id as a reference variable and this is jfx drawer the fx id of the jfx drawer okay now going further in the initialize method because we have to initialize everything so house ladder will work so the actual code is going here it's a very simple guys this is the simple statement for loading the fxml you can get the same code here in your uh, main class file so we are using the same trick fxml loader dot load get resource and the fxml name so here we are loading the slide pen dot fxml which has a vbox only okay i'm talking about the second fxml this fxml okay add uh, so we have created the one reference variable so we collected that object here in this reference variable vbox okay and basically drawer is a container so we have to set a view inside so we are setting the vbox as a view so we are creating our left menu inside the drawer so you have to use set slide pan and you have to pass that vbox object here okay it's done and this is simple uh, try catch block so don't worry about that that will be automatically appeared once you write this line of code and the next thing uh so come back here in the fxml here is the hamburger icon once you click it will change into the arrow so there's a transition to and fro so we have to set the transition on this hamburger that means once you click so the drawer will appear and once you click back the drawer will hide okay so this icon will up show some transition so we are setting the transition with the help of this class hamburger back arrow basic transition okay simply create the instance and pass the hamburger object at this place okay now so this is transition initiated but we have to handle the button mouse button click okay so this is event handler that we are associating at the light number 60 my hamburger dot event handler and uh, we are uh, getting the mouse pressed event and on mouse pressed what we are doing we are uh, setting the transition rate at line number 62 and uh, we are initiating transition dot play okay so all activity going to be handled inside the this event handler because uh, once you press the hamburger icon so the drawer will open and once you click back the hamburger icon so drawer will have to be closed so there's a simple logic we are just checking is open it that means it's a property if drawer is open then it will return true okay if it is open so if you are uh, clicking again on the hamburger icon so drawer will be closed if it is clicking first time so drawer will be open so this is the method to open the drawer
and drawer will close from this line. Okay, so this is the arrangement. This is very straightforward and easy. You can see the consolidated code inside the initialize method. Okay, and uh, this one. So I hope this code is clear to you till this place. Okay, now I'm going to take a clean build because we have done some changes. So we have to save and build before run this example. Okay, build is going on. Okay, build is successful. Now we're ready to go and test it. Okay, so this is the stage and this is the hamburger icon. Now I'm going to click it. Now you can see the transition of hamburger icon. Okay, so the slide pan is coming from the left hand side. Right now the setting is uh, just reversed. So once you click, so hamburger will have to show the arrow and uh, this slide pan must be visible. So we will do basic changes here in the controller. We can do small change here and we can achieve the arrow when the slide pan is open and when the slide pan is disappear. So hamburger will appear. So what exactly we have to do? Simply open the drawer before any click event. Okay. So you have initiated this one and come here mouse event dot mouse clicked. Instead of mouse pressed, we are using mouse clicked. It will behave the same way. Rest of the code will same. And at this place, we have to use uh, drawer is open it, then close it because um, we have already set the open first time so the first activity will close this open it drawer okay and if it is closed then the else will execute so drawer will open and uh, just save this thing and take the build after you can run it and you will see the expected behavior of slide pen okay now you can see so once the arrow will appear so your pen is slide pen is visible once you click back again so you will see the hamburger and the slide pen is slide out in the left side once you click again so it will appear So guys, uh, you can handle this thing in your own way and uh, you can explore more. And uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to give you the basic idea how you can use the slide pen in your JavaFX application. I hope this concept is clear to you. If you found this video useful, so please like this video and share with your friends who are working with the JavaFX so they can also take the advantage of this control and guys please subscribe my channel and if you want the latest video updates notification so please press the bell icon and uh, i will bring more useful videos in 2020 and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help